and welcome along. Today we are back on the abandoned forest and, uh, and we're going to do some work with the cows. So, uh, but the first thing I want to do uh, is uh, explain something about the pump station here that I have discovered. So, when you get the map, what you'll find is in order to get water up from the pump station, uh, you have to fill this generator here with fuel. Uh, there's an error on the map. So, uh, yeah, there are instructions at FSUK as to how to fix this, but basically, for every 100 litres of fuel, you are getting one litre of water out. You have to reverse the settings for that in the map file. Uh, instructions are in the support topic on FSUK, so if you have this map, if you're wondering why the water pump station isn't working, I would go and check that out. Uh, I will add a link to the video at this point to take you directly to the support topic. But I think that's something, uh, you know, really useful I found for you guys. Uh, what we're going to do today, though, as I said, is uh, the cows need some work. So uh, we need to give them a clean. Uh, we need to give them some more water, hence getting the water pump to work. They need a massive amount of straw. Uh, otherwise, they're pretty much all right. And what we're going to use for this is our nice new tractor. We've managed to extract the front loader and the bale fork for it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and use this and try this out. So, let's get going. This nice old Ford. We gave it some repairs. Uh, we haven't put any more fuel in it, actually. So, let's just back it up to here quickly. Give it a refill. I don't know where the trigger for this is. Ah, maybe that's because I'm on the wrong bit of the tractor. Let's give this another try. Trouble with all this snow down is... You can't actually see where the triggers for anything are. No, it does not seem to want to fill. Okay. We may have to go and get some more fuel from somewhere, or we may have already emptied this. I don't know. If somebody knows how these, uh, how this works, whether we need to fill it up, uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments. But uh, we're we're not we're not too bad. We've got 21 liters. We may have to go down to the uh, to the shop and get some more. Right. So first things first, we need some straw. So in order to do that, uh, part of the reason why we're using this tractor is because the uh, little skid steer is down by uh, helping do wood uh, stuff and to get it back is a pain. So uh, yeah, we're going to use this to do this job today. Which is great because, you know, this is, this is what we're eventually going to hope to use for the sheep. Uh, that is if we continue this map. I'd, I've got question marks at the moment as to uh, do you guys want to keep uh, to for me to continue playing this map? I ask this question uh, because it's been a mixed couple of weeks. Uh, we had a very good a number of views last week. A week before we had next to nobody watching it. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments again if you would like to see more from this map. I don't know, to be honest. It's, it's a different map, and we may have to do it as an extra episode or something like that uh, because of what we have lined up. But I am interested if you guys, if you guys are enjoying this, if you guys want to see more, let me know. And we'll work something out, certainly. Right, let's go and load this up. I think there's a lot of potential in this map to do some different stuff with it. But it is it all depends on whether people are interested in seeing it. Right, there we go. Wow. I'm half tempted to not... Well... No, we've got the skid steer. We'll keep the skid steer for... Definitely for uh, doing stuff. But I... 
I originally said I wasn't going to have any tractors on this map. And I've actually discovered that I quite like having this tractor on this map. Right, uh, yeah, we need to go around the other end and empty it out. Or turn around before we empty it out. We may have to get a, um, a fuel tanker. I don't know if it's a case of we have to bring the fuel up here. That would be pretty cool if we did. Whoop. No? Where is my straw area? Okay, I think I found the straw trigger. Should be about here-ish. There we go. Perfect. That has got... How much straw has that given us? Wow, we need to do at least another bale. So we'll go and do that again. Yeah, that straw trigger is very picky. It does not work right. There we go. Yeah, very. we had to get very tight into it in order to make that work. Let's drop the back down. Drop it off. And go again. There we are. Yeah, that was that was that was tough finding that straw trigger. We are getting a bit low on some bales here. It's a good thing we've held off on the uh, on the sheep for now because we definitely do not have enough bales to support the sheep as well as the cows. I don't think there there aren't any bales already up there. So there is that uh, that I know of. Very careful. There we are. Right, we don't want it rolling off the back. No, we got it. There we go. Right, we will go around the bottom this time. And then up. This is the thing. I'm going to find out soon exactly where all the roads are around here. Because, uh, of course, with all the snow on the ground, we can't tell. I think probably second day of spring it might all uh, be gone by. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's right in. There we are. That should give them plenty for a while. Right, we need to go and see if we generate enough water and we need to clean them up a bit. Now, the cleanliness is in here, so it's not that bad, actually from the looks of things. So I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. I'm going to just put this in here. As this is the best place for it, for now. Burst it up. There we go. Perfect little bit. And we'll go and see if we can get some water. They can do it a bit more. We'll use our uh, Joskin water tanker here. This we've also rescued off the pile. Seems to be watertight, so that's all good. We're we'll going to see if we have generated some water. Which I'm hoping by now it has. We're getting into the evening on our second day on the map. Uh, that looks like a thousand meters. That's perfect. So 
will fill up from this. So I don't know how much this takes. This, well, that's taken all of it. That will be enough for now. That will be good enough to top up our cows. Grass will come soon. Once the snow has melted, we'll be able to uh, we'll get some grass in. Well, hopefully it'll grow fairly quickly once the snow's off it. There we go. Perfect. I'll empty that out. So how does that do for water? That takes them up a bit. So that's good. That gives them plenty of water for the next while. Yeah, no grass yet. Yeah. But I think they do have enough mixed ration. We'll go put this back and then we'll have a look at that as well. Yeah, this tractor is running really nicely now. Really good. And really well. Perfect. Right, now do we need to do some... No, we're all right for everything else. We need to get the bucket on the front of here, I think, and just give them the clean-up. So, we will drop off the bale spike. And we'll try and extract... Okay, we need to extract our bucket from this lock. So let's first get around the other side and get the, where are we, we need to get the log fork out of the way first. So that's the first bit we'll go for. Fighting here. That's all right. We should be able to get at this fairly easily now. So next is the manure fork. Right, and that now gives us a clear access to the bucket. There it is. Right, let's take the bucket out of here and, uh, and go and clean up the cows. So through here, and away we go. Brilliant. So it's, it's wonderful to have this old tractor work up and running and just working with these front loader tools. Really nice. Ah, picked up some snow on my way in. I don't want that. Just dump that out. There we go. 
no longer have the snow, that will make things easier. I think what we're doing, yeah, we're basically scraping it into the cow trough. Ugh. There we go. Not a huge amount of grass, but enough. Right, let's go put this into the trough at the end, and that is where we'll do for today. The sun is beginning to set, and the, gra uh, the snow is definitely melting at this point. You can see our tracks appearing in, uh, where we've been driving. So I think the snow will all be gone by tomorrow, which is good. We can actually finally see where all our roads and everything are on this map. Right, there we go. Uh, so that's where I'm going to leave it. I think we're going to have to get a fuel tanker. Uh, but as I said at the start, let me know if you'd like to see more from this map. Uh, I am very interested in what you guys think. But for now, and maybe for a little while, uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time goodbye